guys and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise. This is part 17. It's been a while since I did this LP. Uh, we've had kind of a busy time of it lately. But uh, anyway, um, we're at the gifts panel and I've only got two gifts today. So a little surprising, but um, you know, that, that happens uh, with the summer going on and everybody back to school. Uh, everybody's probably not playing The Sims as much. So anyway, uh, first of all, let's go ahead and get on to this. We have Assassin's Creed and this is a surprise gift box. So let's see what we get here. Okay, we have a chess set, and I can send something back, which is good. We're going to go ahead and send back... Oh, what do we want to send back? Let's go ahead and send back a comfort care package. I'm going to say, thanks for the chess set for Adrian in Island Paradise. Here's a bit of... Let's see, what did I put? Comfort. For your Sims. I can type today. Enjoy. Okay, there we go. And next we have an elixir from Lily Lily Doll Lily Doll Angel. And we get the message from the game. Alright. So we have a fountain of youth elixir. Ooh, very nice. Very, 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 very nice. We can send you something back. And let's see. Yep. All right. So let's go ahead and send back a, you know what? Since you sent us an elixir, we'll go ahead and send you back one yourself. Okay. Supernatural. That is awesome. Fountain of Youth elixir. That is really, really going to help because we can, we could make somebody young again. Very cool. So we're going to say uh, thanks for the Fountain of Youth elixir. For Adrian in Island Paradise. Here's one back and hope you enjoy. All right. So there you are. Oh, okay. So we have a. Uh, well. Okay, yeah. We have one more gift that looks like uh, our. RM Simmer, and it says, uh, just because, love your LPs, here, have a great day. All right, and we're getting a surprise gift box. So, we have a, we have 750 simoleons. That, that really does help, and I can't send anything back because I went ahead and did my five. I did a couple off camera. So, um, Adrian is still in bed. She's actually going to be getting up here pretty quick, but, um, what I did was I went ahead and, and, um, upgraded our one resort i added a few things it wanted a pool bar so i actually added another little pool to that and i'll show you i'll show you what i did we're gonna see if we have any bills to pay because i don't know uh we do not and we'll look at the we'll look at the uh resort panel here but adrian she wants to now um we did have a bit of money, but because I did the upgrades, our money is, is uh, down a bit. And I went ahead and did that off camera, but I will show you just exactly what I did. Uh, and she's getting up, and it says uh, she wants to reach level 8 of lifeguard career. Uh, she wants to own a 5-star resort, which hopefully we're going to be get, getting explored an underwater cave and to slide on a pool slide. All right, so we can, we can actually go ahead and have her visit her resort, should we wish. Uh, today is actually Sunday, so I don't think she has to work today. I think she does have to work today, actually. But um, we could actually get her skills up, and then that would that would help. But we're going to go ahead and give her a little bit of kelp to eat. Actually, we can go ahead and let her have a salmon. She can go ahead and um, eat her salmon. She can go ahead and have a... Uh, she can go ahead and have a tuna. And that should that should help with the hunger a little bit. And her energy is like halfway down. I don't, I don't understand that, but. Okay, so that's kind of going to help with that hunger just a little bit. Let's go ahead and use the all-in-one bathroom and get your hydration up a little bit. Okay, so that's got her pretty full. So we're going to go ahead and go back over here to the resort and we'll show you what the, what the reviews had today. We could... We could actually go and try to get some more money to do some more upgrades, but I went ahead and, and upgraded the resort tower. That way we could get more people to stay. Okay. 
so here is her resort now we just pretty much kept the gym stuff the same there it is it takes a little bit to load uh, we kept all this the same but i added a couple of couple more trees because it wanted some more shrubs and stuff and and i guess the thing is is like if you add plants and trees and shrubs and stuff until you keep putting them down until you don't see that plus sign anymore and then and then you're good to go uh, now what I did over here was I added another little pool area because I did not have room for a pool bar over in the other area. So uh, we went ahead and just put it right here in front of the resort towers. So they can kind of just come out and get into that. So we do have a pool bar now and I went ahead and set the, we, we went ahead and got a worker there and we set the food and drink quality to high and everything. I went ahead and upgraded the resort tower and put down the trees and stuff. So that is pretty much everything I did. Uh, to this resort. Now we do have this other resort on the island here that we have made. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and check the let's go ahead and check the resort reviews because um, I didn't do that. So okay, so we've got everybody hired. Uh, let's go ahead and do resort management. Let's go ahead and do the resort reviews. And this here says, okay, vacation finally gave me the time to start exercising. Okay, so they like the gym. They like the gym, even though it's not closed in or anything. I, I guess you just put gym equipment out there. Uh, can't wait to show those jerks at work. I am brave enough to walk the fire pit. Okay, so they forgot to take pictures. Um, now this one's funny. What, what has two heads, two feet, and covered covered in legs? Uh, me. Woke up covered in cockroaches. So they need to clean this, this place up a little bit. So that's kind of funny. And then uh, they wanted a pool bar. What kind of luxury resort is this? Great job offering healthy options on the buff buffet. My kids really enjoyed the food. Okay, so we're, we're doing pretty good. We've got the food stands and everything um, going that way. So we're going to go ahead and get off of that. Now let's go ahead and look at the one that we have on our island, such as it is. Okay, guys, so here we are at the uh, new resort. This is the island one. Now I went ahead and just um, did a little bit of uh, upkeep. Uh, just to kind of set some stuff to higher quality here so that we get more good reviews. Now, uh, we're still at like a two a two star resort. So we've got a lot of work to do on this thing here. It says the bar offered some decent drinks. So we've upgraded that to uh, fresh and fruity. So that's going to be a higher quality. Uh, I cannot give your resort a full, full five stars with no with the emission of a hot tub. So we need a hot tub. Okay, yes, we need, we need a hot tub. Uh, my home gym is more equipped than this one. So we got to have a gym. And then, uh, okay, I feel like I got more than my money's worth. Great resort. I will never stay at this resort again because the quality of the food uh, served here. Okay, great, great bar made me feel right at home. Okay, so they want some better food. Yep, so these are old resort, old, blah, 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 old reviews. So we, we definitely need to do something with the buffet table and stuff. We need to actually get more uh, we need to actually get more buffet tables and stuff, I think, anyway. So, we're just going to keep everything uh, for all shifts on this thing here. Gonna set the food and drink quality. Okay, so that's on high already. All right, so we're, we're pretty good right now as, as best as it's going to get, I think. Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and just let her use the bathroom now. Uh, we got a little bit of time before she has to go to work. So we're going to go ahead and let her just listen to some charisma. Hopefully she'll be able to get another level of that because it's going to help her with her job performance. And then we're going to go ahead and send her upstairs and, and have her research an elixir because if we can make these uh, invigorating elixirs, it's go that's going to be really nice. That will be very nice. So we'll go ahead and have her get up there. Okay, there we go. I was thinking that the deck wouldn't load. It's like she was going to be in the air. But we'll go ahead and let her do this until we have to get out there and perform our job. So. But her energy is like halfway down. I don't like that. I could have just had her gone back to bed for a little bit. But, okay, so we got Alchemy to level 2. She's getting quicker at doing the elixirs, which is okay. So I like how she can just research and then she gains a skill. And so as you can see, because we're doing charisma, this is really, really helping with our with our job performance. Okay, so she learned Cure Elixir. Okay. 
you don't necessarily have to have her be like a alchemy master or anything, but um, if we can learn these invigorating elixirs and stuff, you know, just some things that's really going to help us out a lot, you know, that's going to be a good thing. So, yeah. She wants to reach level four of alchemy skill. Okay. I don't know that I want to take any of these off. Own a five-star resort. I don't know that I want to take any of these off because this is something that I want to do with her. You know, explore the cave and stuff. With She'll get more alchemy wishes later on. So, you know, that's not going to be a... All right, let's go ahead and... We need to go ahead and perform her job. Go ahead and do that. As soon as she gets done. Actually, we'll go ahead and have her. We need to boat here because otherwise she's going to. Otherwise she is going to not. Uh, be able to get there. All right, Adrian, go ahead and learn it. All right, so she la learned Flask of Angry Bees. Okay, Adrian, we gotta we gotta go ahead and yes, go ahead and go ahead and uh, I told I told you to go ahead and uh, boat here. There, boat there. All right. Now, I think we should be able to go ahead and get to work. Uh, return to shore. All right. So we get, we gotta, we gotta find our work area here. Just gonna be on the beach. Ugh. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna survey the beach. It's kind of nice how they have like the, when you can get the little map tags uh, kind of highlighted for you. That's, that's always nice. She's a little bit late, but that's okay, because we've been listening to some charisma, and that's going to help us out a lot. So, she is at level... She's at level seven, so if we do if we do some more today with with uh, saving some folks, you know, then she'll get to level eight. I don't know about today, but maybe maybe the next time she gets off to work. So okay, so Adrian uh, has just earned 20, 25 bucks from book royalties. Okay, so we need to have her write another book, and we'll get a little bit more money as well. So uh, okay, so she got. Her weekly stipend of 1132 bucks, so keep it up. Oh, it's taking her long enough to get to the beach. We really should put our houseboat at a more central location, and then, you know, she won't be able, she'll be able to get to things a lot easier. All right. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and survey the beach. And I'm going to go ahead and just come out here to the water and just kind of keep an eye out for people who are going to be needing help here. I got a feeling this person may be in a bit of trouble in just a little bit. All right. Oh, she got a promotion. Congratulations. Um, Adrian, uh, we'll go ahead and read this here. Congratulations. Adrian has been conferred the new title of Eagle Eye by the Island Paradise, Isla Paradiso Town Council in recognition of her valuable contribution to the workforce. The lifeguard chair, uh, the lifeguard chair as your, the lifeguard chair as your perch, you watch the seas like a hawk. You can spot, you can spot a sim in distress from a mile away, then cover that distance in no time flat. Adrian can now run le like the lifeguarding legends. Okay, so she now makes 1480 bucks per week 
and works from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, so her hours have not changed. We're going to go ahead and keep an eye on somebody to save. Uh, reach level 10 of lifeguard career. Reach level 4 of alchemy skill. Okay, so it looks like she's going to rescue this person here. We'll go ahead and watch her do this. Uh, okay, you saved my life. How can I... How can I repay you? And, of course, it's going to rain. Why does it always have to rain every time we're trying to work? Let's see. Is there somebody else in trouble? I thought I heard them. Oh, yep. Here's somebody. Okay, so I think we're going to have to do some CPR or something on this person here. So, uh, yep, give some CPR. Go ahead and do it, Adrian. I think I showed this before, but this is what it looks like. Looks kind of creepy, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. It looks kind of creepy. Okay, so that person is saved. Very nice. Okay, so uh, good to know that there are still good lifeguards out there. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. No problem. All in a day's work. So everybody's like out there with the umbrellas and stuff. So we'll keep an eye on our, on our water here. It's actually been a while since she did anything at work. But yeah, it's all raining. Probably nobody's going to want to go swimming today. And this person is just lying on a beach towel. Yeah, so they're, they're all lying on beach towels. Nobody's really... There might be a couple people in trouble out here in the water that, that we could do here. So go ahead and... Uh, we're going to... Okay, Adrian, what are you doing? We need to go ahead and uh, we need to go ahead and survey. Keep you doing that. <laughs> Do the lifeguard run. We'll show we'll show you what that looks like. Look at that! It, it's kind of like slow motion. It's like the it's almost like a bionic run or something like that. You know, like if you. And I'm dating myself here, but there was a show called The Six Million Dollar Man, and you can kind of see, like, the slow motion thing. He does, like, the slow motion thing, but he covers a lot of distance. So, it's going to keep a good eye. So, they're doing some... Oh, we got somebody out here to save. All right, Adrian, go ahead and rescue this person. Uh, let's see. I need to click on them here. Go ahead and rescue. Yep. Go rescue him. So there she goes. So this really keeps her hydration up, too, because she's in the water and all that. So go ahead and get them. Yep. There you go. All right. So she got a little bit of money for that. I mean, you know, this lifeguard career is kind of fun starting out and everything, but it just it gets a little tedious because you're pretty much doing the same thing over and over again. And, you know, it's it's um. You are doing the same thing over and over again. Oh, what is this? We got something here to collect. Oh, 
yeah, go ahead and collect that. Once she's done rescuing this poor person here. Oh, go ahead and get that. And then we're going to give some CPR to this person. So she's done that, or she is doing that right now. And of course the paparazzi is writing stuff on her while she's doing the CPR bit. All right, so she's got some money for that. Uh, thanks for rescuing me. Let's go ahead and get the shell. All right, so sh we got a, uh, okay, oh, we got a space rock. Okay, it's valued at 14 simoleons. So if we keep the space rock then in our inventory, then we should um, like to get to know you better. So then we should be able to uh, maybe get that alien back. And I think we met that alien, so we can actually talk to that alien. But um, I do have some plans with, um, you know, once I get the winners announced for Create a Sim and stuff, once I do that, then um, I do have some plans for her. So, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what's going on there. And she's almost done with her job and she's getting very, very tired. So... Adrian, I tell you what, we're we're actually we're actually gonna go home. We're actually gonna we're gonna quit. I know we we arrive late, but we're gonna quit early because we've actually did quite a bit today, and we do. She is really really tired, absolutely exhausted. So we do need to get her put to bed. We're gonna have to get her something to eat and actually get her put to bed kind of early tonight because she's zonked. And we can have her move the houseboat to another location. That way we're just kind of where we need to be. But um, I'd like to go diving and we got to get that squid. We definitely got to get that squid at, at Rocky, Rocky Reef or whatever the heck it is. All right, Adrian. We're going to go ahead and get up there. We should see if we have any bills to pay. Um, I know I checked earlier, but we should just go ahead and check again just to just to be on that safe side. Okay. So what we're going to go ahead and do, uh, we don't have any bills to pay, but what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to have her eat something. We're going to have her eat some kelp. Oh, instead of, you know, actually what we could do instead of... Um, uh, instead of having her go to bed, we could actually have her play with the dragons because we haven't done that in a while. And that'll get her hunger and stuff up. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and play with the dragon. See if that kind of helps a little bit. All right, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and, uh, we're going to go ahead and feed her, feed our green ja dragon named Jade. And then we're going to go ahead and play with Jade and we'll see what, we'll see what that's going to do for us here. Whoops. Uh, whoops, cancel that. I don't want to do that. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and, go ahead and feed her and play with her and see if that's going to help you get your, your stuff up a little bit. Let's see what that'll help do. I know the black one kind of helps with, with um, energy and stuff. Tablets. Okay, so that's kind of helped a little bit, but you know, we're just we're just gonna go ahead and have her get to bed. We'll just, yeah, that's probably that's probably the best way. So, Adrian, you're still hungry. Go ahead and have you play with the red one here. We'll go ahead and have you feed Ruby. This is our red one. And then we'll go ahead and play with her and see what that'll do. See what that'll do for you. Yeah. She's going to feed her. And... Okay, so that kind of helps a little bit. 
That kind of helps with the energy just a little bit. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do it again. Go ahead and okay. Let's go ahead and we can talk to her about athletic, and then we can go ahead and uh, play with her. There we go. So there we go. So that kind of helps a lot with that energy. But we're going to go ahead and we'll go ahead and give her something to eat. Come on. Oh, wow. Adrian, how about you go ahead and eat something? You can go ahead and have a tuna. Then you can go ahead and have a lobster. Kavu desa, kavu kama. Yasku. Oh, zuba. All right. Das. Das. So that's got our energy up way, 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 way good. So what we need to do, I think we, I think we still got a dragon out, but that's okay. Baruski. So Adrian, you're gonna go ahead and listen to a tab cast. <laughs> you're gonna listen to. Uh, I would like you to do some charisma. And then we're gonna we're gonna do those uh, alchemy things here. We're going to go ahead up to research some more alchemy on our little station. We could actually do some science too because, you know, we can try to get, um, we can try to get a plant sim baby. So let's go ahead and research. Get up here, we'll research. I think we got to put our other dragon back into our inventory. Let's we'll see if we can find him. Yep, I know we got a dragon left out here. Yep, right there. So here is our dragon. We're gonna go ahead and try to put try to put this one back. Oop, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Oh, we can't we can't drag her, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we can we can summon some treasure after she gets done, and then we can go ahead and uh, We'll carry her. Oops. No, we don't want to do that. I want to keep her name. Um, we'll, we'll carry her. Okay, so I kind of hate how sometimes the dragons don't go back into the inventory like they should. But she's doing really good now with the with the now with the hunger and the and the uh, energy. So she's really really good to go. And we could uh, we could go back to the casino at some point, but I think we're just going to hold off for a little while. Um, we'll see what money we make from our resort in a little bit, and um, and then maybe we'll do something tomorrow. She wants to visit France. Uh, she knows oh. our friendship, which I don't know. I, I really don't want to travel right now in this LP because you know this is Island Paradise and um, not World Adventures. So I'm probably not going to travel for for a long time if ever in this LP. We'll see. Because actually if we wanted to do anything with wine or whatever, um, we could actually uh, I could actually um, get the stuff from by debug mode, which sometimes I like to do because then, then when you travel then you're kind of prepared to actually do some stuff over there by the time you get there. So it just depends on the kind of mood I'm in. Sometimes I'll get it from by debug, sometimes I won't. But I'm not going to worry about any of that right now because right now we're worried about resorts. We're worried about just trying to get all these islands discovered and, you know, just really trying to concentrate on our island paradise stuff right now. So she knows Jar of Discord. But the reason I'm doing this alchemy thing is because I'd like her to be able to learn how to make these invigorating elixirs because I think that's going to be really, really, really helpful for her. Well, that's helpful for any sim, but yeah. <laughs> so she's doing pretty good. She's got... 
She does need some social and she's going to need some hydration kind of soon, but I'm going to put this on speed two. And we could actually put a chemistry lab set out here too, because we do have the room for that, I do believe. Okay, so she knows flask of sleep. Maybe the next one she'll learn is the invigorating elixir. She's going to gain another alchemy skill, looks like. Okay, so there we go. We know Invigorating Elixir. We get the potent one, and that's going to do really good. Okay. Okay. All right, so she's going to go ahead back downstairs and get some treasure and then put, uh, put Jade back. Who's a dazzy? Okay. And when you're done, go ahead and work out. Well, actually, before you work out. Hey, bow. Yes, Summon the treasure. <laughs> oh, there we go. So we want to go ahead and collect it. What did we get? What did we get? Uh, we got a goldfish. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put the goldfish in the inventory. And then we'll go ahead and put Jade in the inventory. Yeah, we'll put her in the inventory. And then I think we're still listening to our tab cast. Yep, she's still listening to the tab cast. So when she gets all that done, <gasps> we're going to see if we can read any more recipes here. Tablets. I think we've read a lot of this stuff here. Let's see. I don't want her to do something that she shouldn't be doing, so. Okay, let's go ahead and read fried, fried peanut butter and banana sandwich. And then we can go ahead and read, uh, I think we know Ratatouille. All right. So I think that's all the recipes that we got. We could actually buy more. And I think we may do that. Emble. Mm, flower bits. So when she gets done, we'll go ahead and shop online for some books. We could get some fishing books too and we could get some fishing books too and have her read that. Then she'll know what to catch. I don't want to have her go diving just yet because Yeah, I don't want to have her go diving just right now because um it's too dark. And I thought I I thought I told you to put Put the dragon in the inventory here. Yeah, we need to go ahead and clean that up. Go ahead and uh, I want to go ahead and carry her, I guess, when she's done, because we got to get her in the inventory. Let's go ahead and read that. 
She's almost done with that recipe. Very good. Because even though she doesn't really need all this food anymore, I, I do kind of like to have her know all the stuff because then she can cook stuff for other people, you know, when the time comes and all that good stuff. Okay, so she knows that. Yep, there you go, Adrian. Very good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and look for some more recipes here. Um... I think we'll go ahead and look for things after this one here. Um, firecracker tofu, cheese tofu steak, firecracker shrimp. We'll just make sure that we'll be able to, we'll get a few of these, not not a whole lot because we got to make sure that we're careful. Cheese steak, curry, cobbler. Eggs Machiavellian. See how we're doing otherwise. Uh, okay, so that's good. We can we can get that. Okay. Alright, so I guess she's gonna go ahead and clean something up there. Go ahead and pick up the dragon. All right. Now, I'd like you to put her back into the inventory. Put her in your inventory. Okay, there you go. Now, let's go ahead and listen to... about you know what? let's listen to some science now because I have the mod on my um, and, and then we'll go ahead and work out too because I have the uh, mod um, on my let's go ahead and work out because I have the mod on my on, on the game here then I have those extra tab casts so that is why I can do that we're gonna go ahead and not break a sweat so that we don't get all stinky Although, although uh, we could have her go back into the water or all in one bathroom or whatever and get hydrated, so let's go ahead and let her do this. And we can go ahead and play with, uh, I think it was a red dragon and that kind of helps with the energy too so we don't have to sleep again all day. Make an invigorating elixir which will help too. This is going to help her get her athletics up, and this will get her... So she's getting... She's going to start to dry out here kind of soon. Uh, chapped. Okay, Adrian. Um, for three out for two hours. Yeah. Um, she's getting dried out. Feeling a little dry and uncomfortable. So we're going to have to really keep an eye on that. Actually, in fact, you know, before you, before you, before you continue working out, go ahead and do that. Use that. That's going to help work out. And then let's uh, not break a sweat again, because that's, that's going to help you a lot. That's, we definitely need to keep an eye on that. So I think if she gets too dried out, then she'll, um, then she'll actually die. So we got to be careful of that, because I would rather not have her die <laughs> on me. Okay, back on there, having a blast. Mark of the Green Dragon, very nice. Uh, decorated and uh, sun tan. Exposure to the exposure to the sun. Squeaky clean and listening to Tabcast for 59 minutes. And that's going to help a lot. too much to say while we do this. We'll put that on speed two. That kind of helps a little bit. 
Now she doesn't have to work today so we can actually send her diving. But we're going to have to play with our Oh, co collect resort funds. Uh, 770 simoleons. Uh, okay, so we got 3,524 for this resort. Very good. Very, very good. Alright, so we've got uh, science. Um, as, a, as a scientist, Adrian uh, receives perf perf blah, blah, performance and salary because of science and uh, medical career. Okay, so she could actually she could actually um, change careers, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. And that's kind of upping her job performance right there because she's doing athletics. So again, athletics, charisma, and helping others. So that's, that's going to help out a lot. So we need to actually, if we make some friendship elixirs too, we can throw it at people and become friends and stuff, and that'll boost that charisma. So I think she's about to get a athletic skill I think pretty quick so at least she doesn't fall off that treadmill anymore all right so Adrian when you're done we're gonna have to have you play with um, your dragon to kind of get your your energy and stuff back up here I'm gonna go ahead and play with Ruby We'll play with her. We'll go ahead and um, talk about athletics with her when we're done working out. And then we're going to go diving because we don't have to work today. We do need to get some social, but when she goes diving, she should actually find someone to talk to, which will be nice. Because her social is kind of halfway down, but yeah. Okay, so... We've got uh, a sale has just started at uh, Adrian's Corp and Bookstore. Okay, everything um, is 35% off. Okay, so we could get a couple more recipes and fishing books and stuff. But we'll wait a little bit before that happens. Not too much to say while she does this. pretty good on hunger, which is good. Okay. I'm getting a lot of lag with the, like when I put this on speed two and then when you put it back to speed one. And there's, there's actually a lot of lag when they work out. I don't know if you guys are getting that too. I think I heard some of you guys are, but you know where they're working out and then they get the lag. I'd like her to finish her workout. Oh, perform job. Okay. which we do need to do. We'll go ahead and vote here. But I want to get her energy up to before I do that. So she does have to go to work today. All right, Adrian, hurry up with the workout. Get it done. All right. Actually, before you before you boat there, we're gonna use this bathroom again. So then, when she's done, we're gonna go ahead and put the dragon into the inventory. Go ahead and get your scales all wet, dearie. Okay. Okay, so that's helping you a bit. Yeah, I guess she's got a clean house. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and boat here. Okay. Now... 
what we need to do is perform our job. We'll put that on speed two. Go perform your job. Oh, we're losing you. and survey the beach and let's go ahead and do the lifeguard run that looks pretty cool go ahead and do that and there's people out here on the on the towels oh look it's a sailboat Nobody's in the water just yet. Oh, here's her lifeguard chair. We could actually have her sit in that. She's not done that for a while. Boy, that kind of lagged. There's somebody out there on the beach towel. Nothing, nothing real major. Nobody's needing help just yet, I don't think. There's days like that, which is okay. So we are actually at a... Uh, we're at the casino. We could actually, after work, we can actually go to the casino and do something very nice. Adrian, can we go and collect this rock? Did she puke? Go ahead and have you get your, your shell or your rock or whatever. It looks like she's getting some money or something. So, so go ahead and get that. And then we can go ahead and survey from the chair. See what she's going to get here. Okay, so she's got a uncommon shell worth 300 and something. So she's getting some money again here. She's going to go ahead and sit at the lifeguard chair, which is cool. See if there's anybody that we need to help. Oh, there's another mermaid right there, I think. Uh, yeah, I think there there's another mermaid. So we're getting some money. We're getting a bit of money here. Somebody on the beach towels. It's pretty cool how they can do that. Really love that. So we've got a couple more hours to go, and then I think we're going to go ahead and go to the casino and see if we can do some do some stuff. But we, we gotta, we need to actually, what we need to do is, is we're getting very, very dry. We're getting very dry. So we actually, hmm. we need to go ahead and have her go swimming for a little bit. Adrian, go ahead and get out in the water for a while. Go ahead and, go ahead and swim. Flaky, yep. Minus 40 mood for 11 hours. Ew, bits of skin, bits of skin are floating, flaking off. Uh, maybe, 
And she's chapped, so she's getting, she needs to get her hydration up. So that's helping a lot. Go ahead and get her uh, hydration up a bit, and then, and then I think we're going to be doing pretty good. About an hour left of work. So we're getting, we're getting, um, we're getting a bit of money. Okay. Uh, the spot looks like the place to be. Okay, so we'll head to the casino. Um, okay, so she just found her shell. Adrian, what you need to do is get back in the water so that we can get your hydration continuing to be up. Swim some more. to get that hydration up for you. Okay, good girl. Good girl. It's coming up. That a girl. Very good. So we're actually going to come out of the beach. We'll actually go to the casino first. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and visit the uh, yep, we're going to go ahead and visit the Lucky Simoleon Casino. Okay, so her hydration looks pretty good now. Very good. All right, so now what, what, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and have her eat something. You go ahead and have a... You can go ahead and have a rainbow trout. You can go ahead and have a tuna. And then you go ahead and have a lobster. And that's going to help you. And then we're going to go ahead and see if we can make some money. Okay, our pianist is there. So, Adrian, we're going to come over here to this machine here. We're going to play for some high stakes. Okay. Very good. That's helping you with your hunger. Your energy is good. Hydration is good. Social isn't so good, but we can fix that. All right, so let's see what we're going to do. We should have had her listen to a tab cast, but that's okay. Let's see how she's doing on her job stuff. She's about halfway up to getting to level 9, which is good. Actually, we could have her listen to an athletic, and then that'll help a lot. Listen to, you can listen to an athletic. We'll get off of that and then we'll, we'll do another pull here. Come over here to this machine, play for some high stakes. Okay, so she gained 240 thanks to the slot machine, but we're going to play for a lot more. Okay, so we got athletic skill to level 8, very nice. Which this is giving us, that's giving us a big jump. She's still listening to that. Listen to your tab cast. Listen to athletic. Now, play for the high stakes. Alright. We're getting a little bit of money from this. Athletic to level nine. Wow. Okay. Dang, that's that's getting us up there. That is crazy. Let's see. Let's see what happens if we try it again. Go ahead and do. Go ahead and do uh, athletic again. And we're gonna go ahead and ignore the call. Let's go! 
Lucia! <laughs> Hi. Ah, Steve. Steve a lot. <laughs> All right. Woo! 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 Oh, did she master it? Play for high stakes. Dang, that's a good way to mass. Holy cow! Three hundred from the. Sl she got. She got level ten athletics just from just from me clicking on that tab cast. That is crazy. That is just absolutely freaking crazy. That is nutso. Somebody got a jackpot, but we need to get, we need to get, uh, we need to go meet Caroline, whatever, train someone. We're not going to worry about that right now. She wants to have a drink. We're going to go ahead and take off the underwater cave and we're going to go ahead and have her want to get a drink because that's going to help. That'll give her some easy points. How many points do we have for her anyway? Well, we've got 21,000 something. And she's got lungs of steel, which we don't need anymore. Strong stomach and steel bladder. We'll get we'll get a few more points and see what else that we can get for her. So, all right, come on, Adrian. Yeah, that that athletic skill went nuts, so. I can't be I can't believe that. All right, Adrian, very nice. Jackpot. Very nice. That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. We'll be able to do some really nice upgrades to the resorts now, which is great. That's going to be awesome. Okay. Ten something, so we need to make sure that she gets a drink here pretty soon. She got some more money. So... We'll make sure that we get over to the bar here pretty quickly. We'll let her do a few more pulls and then we'll get over to the bar here kind of quickly to get us a drink. Alright, come on, Adrian. Oh my gosh, she got another one. Wowza. Alright. That is awesome. That is awesome. Guys, I'm going to save my game very quickly so that I don't lose any of this progress because you know what I hate is, and I haven't had any crashes lately, but you know what I hate is when you're, when you gained, when you got like three, two or three jackpots and then your game crashes and then, ah, oh, you know, that just, that really does suck. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and just uh, save this and I'll be right back when, when, uh, when we can play again. Okay guys, we're back. How are you? Let's see how we can do for the, the night here. So I think about midnight we'll go ahead and have her get a drink. So she's... Still going at it here. Okay, so I think after this poll, we'll go ahead and send her on over to the bar to order a drink. And then we can go ahead and, and um, then we can go ahead and actually have her play some more slots. But let's go ahead over here. Oh. Uh, let's go ahead and order uh, order a drink. We'll go ahead and get the uh, Simoleon Sunrise. Okay. 
Right, let's see how she does for this pull here. She got a little bit of money from that one. Two of a kind, it looks like. All right, so we are doing really, really good. So she's going to go ahead and get a drink. And then we'll play some more slots until it's close in time. All right. Yep. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, everybody's taken off to go home, it looks like. And her hydration is going down again a little bit. Okay. There you go, Adrian. Have that drink. So let's go back over here to the slot machine and we can go ahead and play for the high stakes again. See how this machine treats us. Oops. Not a good angle there. There we go. We'll go ahead and let her do a couple more pulls until it's time to get on home. See how we do. Nuga, Nuga Maka. We got time for one more pull. Carry It'd be great to end the night with the jackpot. It really would. Oh, so she got some money from that. Four hundred and something again. So I'd say we're doing pretty good there. So go ahead on home, Adrian. We'll see if she's going to swim, and then we'll... So she's going to swim, then... then uh, okay, so she's going to go ahead and boat. Mm. We'll see what we can do tomorrow. When does she age up? She actually ages up in uh, 14 days. So we've got a little bit of time. Plus we've got that Fountain of Youth Elixir. So that's going to be nice. We do have the Fountain of Youth Elixir. So um, we don't, you know, if we need to get a little younger, we can do that. But Adrian, why don't you go ahead and do the all-in-one bathroom? Oh, we need to... Actually, you know what? Why don't you go ahead and clean your house? And then we're going to go ahead and use it. And then we're going to go ahead and have you get to bed. Yeah, she got some bad food in there, I guess. But that's what happens when you when you uh, don't have to eat that stuff anymore. Your food goes bad. And I could actually get her the, you know, actually when we um, get married and stuff, I think we'll probably upgrade the fridge to the. Um, so I have a mod in the game where I can actually buy the the culinary rewards fridge, you know, which will be nice. Go ahead and get that hydration up. There you go. Actually, you know, before you go to bed, why don't we go ahead and have you get on the computer? Come on. Yeah, go ahead and get on the computer. And then why don't we go ahead and, and uh, chat with someone? Chat with um, this person here. And that'll get your social up and then and then we're gonna be okay. We'll have you get a little something to eat and we'll put you to bed, but we'll get that social up for you. And Cause this is gonna help. We could actually play the online social game. about play online social game let's go ahead and shop for shop online for some more books cool crush yeah couldn't get off that all right how'd they do 
All right. Let's go ahead and look for some more recipes. So last time we bought, uh, let's see, we got the curry, we got the cobbler, we got eggs Machiavellian. Let's do the porcini risotto. Let's do the tofu steak, potato and truffle tort. Uh, I think we got tri-tip steak. Let's do the ceviche. Maybe we didn't do the tri-tip steak. Okay, so that's going to do us pretty good. Um, now, let's go ahead and get her off to bed. And I think this is a good place for us to end the part, go to sleep, because we've been going on for a little bit. Um, I think in the next part, we'll try to do our diving and see if we can um, see if we can maybe get uh, that squid. I hope we can. <laughs> I hope we can. And uh, we'll see if, we'll see what we can do with that five star resort thing. Hopefully we can hopefully we can gain that. So, um, all right, so you guys have a fantastic day. Favorite and like this video, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Hit the heck out of that like button. I really, really do appreciate those likes. Uh, give this a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe to see more of the series, but see the other series I do that you are interested in. And we'll talk to you guys all later. Okay, bye guys.